Hey guys, and welcome to Hearthstone Heroes of Warcraft. My name is Jagras. I actually think it's just called Hearthstone these days, but my name is Jagras, and today I'm going to be checking out some Hearthstone. Gwent is on hiatus for basically six months, so as a content creator I've got to try new things, and this is one of the things I want to try out. Hearthstone isn't the game I've really played at all, so I'm going to be very much a rookie. This is very much going to be kind of a learning experience. It's going to probably be a little bit chaotic. There'll probably be a few misplays, but hopefully it'll be some fun. Now, the plan for this video is to try out the tavern roll, because it doesn't require me to have made a deck or really necessarily understand what's going on too much. So we're going to be doing the tavern roll, um, and the current tavern roll is a chance encounter, so we basically have random cards. Uh, we choose a class, then we get randomly filled deck of random, random cards. Random! So, you know, who doesn't like RNG? You know, who doesn't like RNG? So we'll see how this works out, we'll see how this works out. The classes that I have played, uh, Mage, Rogue, and Hunter are kind of the three that I've probably played a little bit of. And this was like a few years ago. Like, Hearthstone I'm really out of the loop with, so bear that in mind. But I think for this video, let's just play a Mage deck. And then, my understanding is we get man matched against like another opponent who's also playing a random deck, and we have to try and beat them. So, we'll see how that turns out. Hopefully, not too badly. There we go, we found an opponent, so that's good. But yeah, this is, like I said, gonna be a little bit of a random experience. And there's no RNG in Hearthstone, is there? Whenever a player casts a spell, put a copy of into the other player's hand. So if I don't cast spells, this is kind of good. These guys are legendary. Add a random card, random spell to your hand. I guess we get rid of the high cost cards. I, I feel like typically in Hearthstone, I know like mulligan expensive stuff. But what if everything you have is expensive? And you just lose in the early game. Why do we have to go first? God Not damn it. Done. Well, that was fun. Add a random minion to your hand, it costs three less. But I don't want to give him a copy of this, right? Onward, Summon a random one cost minion for your opponent. Oh, well, that's actually okay. Because we can kill that, whatever it is. Why did he use his coin? Deal two damage to a random enemy minion and then free the. Oh, okay, this is not so good. This is not so good. So we can play this. Which he can't kill, and then he can't play spells. Or we play Unstable Portal and hope for the best. Wow, I have a handful of legendaries and nothing that I can do. Like, we have Cthune, Elite Tauren Chieftain, AETC. Give both players the power to rock. I don't know what that means! I don't know what any of this means! Let's just play this for now. And then end turn. So what does this guy do? Okay, he summoned the minion, that's fine. Why can't I get a one cost card? This time for sure. Oh, it's not looking good. It's not looking good. We can play this. If you have a mech, deal four damage. I don't have a mech. I think we just have to put bodies on the board, really. Like, so long as we have bodies on the board, maybe it'll be okay. I don't think it's gonna be okay. Three random mage spells to your hand. You don't really want that. We get the power to rock. Maybe that's good? Millhouse Man of Storm. Oh no. Actually, that gives Greater Arcane Missiles, makes it free. And I can also play Kabbalist Tome for free. So this basically could clear the board for me. Let's do this. That's actually perfect. So the board has been cleared. We can give both players the power to rock. We can also actually draw cards for free. So let's draw some cards. Oh, and they're all free as well. When an enemy casts a spell on a minion, summon a 1-3 as a new target. Reveal a spell from your deck. Deal damage equal to its cost to all minions. Wow. Add three random mage spells to your hand. Wait, but we can just keep getting random mage spells. No, the RNG! What is going on? So then we, we can just kill him. This is- oh god, this is ridiculous. You know, like people say, you know, there's no RNG in Gwent. There is definitely RNG in Gwent. <laughs> Not Gwent, the Witcher. Oh my god. Not the Witcher. Hearthstone! There is so much RNG in Hearthstone. Hey, look at that. We earned a pack. I am a champion amongst men. 
with my old legendary deck. That was ridiculous. That was ridiculous. What is this game? Oh, we're gonna have to go again, aren't we? We'll have to go again. Let's play Hunter this time. What could possibly go wrong? I mean, I have no idea what card- I'm sitting there like reading the cards, like, what does this card do? And the rope is timing down. The guy basically gave me a million free spells, which is actually hilarious. How is that card good? Someone explain to me how Millhouse Mana Storm is good. So, this is a Warlock. Mayor Nogginfogger. All targets are chosen randomly. Oh god. Oh man, like Nogginfogger's Elixir. Well, let's get rid of all these cards. These are all too expensive. But like, my entire deck might be too expensive. So we'll see. A Reveal a minion in each deck. If yours costs more, draw it. Oh god. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun. So I guess we have to- we have to totally play that here. Let's do it. Come on! RNG! Come on! Yes! Mine is more expensive. Free minion. Free minion. Seems good. Recruit a 1, 2, and 3 attack minion. But this is no good because I can't play it now. I just have your turn you have a 50% chance to draw an extra card. What? What? And So if I kill this guy, he gives this guy plus 2 health. So I guess we have to hit this, right? Do I have a way of killing it on the next turn? 50% chance to attack the wrong enemy. How much RNG is there in this game? This is legitimately ridiculous. Like, I don't have any words at this point. At the end of your turn, summon a random 1-1 one, one, one cost minion. I mean, admittedly, everyone's deck here is random, but still. This is, like, insane. So we need to kill this. Let's just kill this. I don't want him drawing extra cards. That doesn't seem like a good thing to allow him to have. But like, maybe he has a handful of like one drops and then we'll be fine. You get hat and you get hat. Hey, I got a hat! He... Randomly toss three hats. To... Does it purposely give you like the random cards in this game mode? Is that is that what's going on? Like maybe that's the whole point is like, ha ha, ha ha, everything is random. What is summoning? Oh, this guy's summoning things, isn't he? I guess we go for this guy. Hmm, we should probably kill this so he doesn't get a bunch of 1-1s. One one. Oh no! Oh no, RNG, why? Why would you do this to me? This is terrible! This is, like, it feels completely arbitrary. Reduce the cost of elementals in my hand by one. I don't have any elementals. Oh, this is an elemental. I have one elemental in hand. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is getting- this is not good. I don't want to make his spells cost nothing. I guess unless he has nothing in his hand. If he had nothing in his hand, it would good, be good. Discover a copy of a minion in your deck. Let's do it. This will not be tamed. This gives my opponent a chance to draw an extra card. Why would I want that? Deal 4 damage to a random enemy minion. That's not bad. So let's take this one. And I guess we do this. This thing is actually ruining my life. It's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. But we can play this guy next. We can get a random paladin card. This is actually insane. Summon a random 1 cost minion for your opponent. Can I have a, can I have a 1 cost minion please? It didn't do it. Shit, he's got so many units. After you summon a pirate, deal two damage to a random enemy. Okay, that doesn't help me. Deal four damage to a random enemy minion. That doesn't really help me here either. We need to kill this bugger. Add a paladin to our hand. Summon a random four cost minion. This is a mech. I don't fucking know. Right, let's put this here. Let's kill this. I think he's just gonna go face though. And then I'm just gonna lose because he has so many units on the board. He's got three, four, five, six, seven, eight damage. Why does his cost more? No, this is awful. Everything is terrible. 
Oh, shut the fuck up. Like, none of these cards are good. They're just expensive. No, we just lose. We just lose. There's there's no taunt or anything and I can't clear the board. I just have a handful of big minions with weird abilities. I'm not convinced that Hunter worked out quite the same way as Mage. I feel like this is not a very good introduction to Hearthstone. Like, the amount of RNG that's going on in this brawl is just kind of insane. And I can understand why people would find it off-putting. And it's kind of funny because people complain about RNG and Gwent, but this is kind of on its, a whole new level. Although I'm guessing, is this, I'm assuming the Tavern Brawl isn't using standard set. Maybe it's using wild, which means it's got like every card. So then it kind of gets a bit, like even more crazy. Valera versus Rexa. Like, potentially? Watch your all right, these are all too expensive. What does this symbol mean? I don't even know what this means. Battle cry. Oh, it's got a little symbol, but it says it here. But this says battle cry. Why is there a symbol? Because it says it here and here. I don't know. Let's just get rid of these cards. Throw them all away. He kept one card. Ah, see, this is more like it. Discover a three cost card. Add two random cards to your hand from your opponent's class. What a fun turn we have. Shuffle three ambushes into your opponent's deck. I know what spare parts do. When drawn, you summon a 4-4 Nerubian. <laughs> so I guess we just play the Scarab. What does this do when he dies? He gets a spare part. Would I rather play the... I guess I would, because this gives me another free cost card. So then I have choices for the next turn. Silence a minion. Deal 5 damage to an undamaged character. Your opponent draws a card. That is a 4-4. Oh, shut up. I guess we'll take the removal. I value removal. Because we've got plenty of minions, you know. We've got plenty of minions. Why do people keep playing Millhouse Mana Storm? It just makes everything free. Add two random cards to your hand from your opponent's boss. Like, this I don't feel like this pays off off for him. Alright. You get some Nerubian ambushes. Fun times. And then we'll do this for free as well. The start of your turn, deal two damage to a random enemy. Deal three damage, split among enemies. Don't need to do that. Give a random minion in your hand, plus two, plus two. Let's play him. We don't need this, let's play this. You can have his spare part, you know, enjoy. It's all yours. It's all yours, it's fine. What could possibly go wrong? Wanna blow something up? <laughs> nice. Nice! Well played. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. So we play this guy. What does this guy do? Add a random card to your hand from your opponent's class. So we play this guy. And then... Oh, that hit face. That's really annoying. So we can kill this guy. But then a card in my hand gets plus one, plus one. So now this is a 3-6. Wow. Let's play this. Someone explain to me how Millhouse Mana Storm is good. Because Millhouse Mana Storm basically keeps cucking my opponents. What is going on? I just, I just can't. Like, it's kind of interesting. But it's interesting for like bad reasons almost. Enemy, when an enemy minion attacks, return it to its owner's hand. It costs two more. I don't really need to play that. What is, this guy's a four. This is a, add a random beast card to your hand. I wonder. So do we want to trade out? We can't trade out for him. We can trade out for this guy, which I don't mind. And then we'll go face. And then we'll play this. And then end our turn. 
This is okay. I think this is okay. So we're almost on this. Recruit an eight cost minion. That's crazy. Ah, now it's in your hand. Bamboozled. Tonight, a tale of long lost words. One one copy of a random minion in your deck. That did that did not work off. Like that did not work out. So I can kill him. I wanna play this once the board is cleared, right? So we should probably play this. Play this. But does it does it go to the same minion? That is the question. Because if I can give them to the same minion, it's pretty good, right? Oh, only one of them gets a hat, okay. We get a sword and then we hit him in the face. Ah! Oh, oh, I'm so good at this game. I'm so good at this game. This game of basically just RNG. I mean, at least I'm learning about cards, you know. But I don't know if cards are in the main set or what. Like, what is going on here? He's gonna get hit in the face for six. That's kind of disgusting. Oh, nice. This card is OP. Um. No walls can hold me. And we'll go face. And we'll go face. And we end turn. Hey, we got our full form Ruby and that that feels so bad. Like that must feel so bad. You draw a card and you give me full four. I think this is where you concede. No, maybe he has like a crazy OTK combo, and I'm just like, I'm being a cocky git, and then like it is what it is. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I have plus two. I have fifteen damage, basically. So Unless he plays a taunt or something, then I win. You might be able to clear the board. You know, you do get cards that do that. Whee, let's click on things. This isn't something you can do in... Uh, throw all the money in the well. This isn't something you can do in, in Gwent. There's not clickable things to entertain yourself. Did it break? Oh, I broke it. Time moves quickly. Oh, oh, it's a trap. Oh, it's scary. Boing, 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 boing. <laughs> Is he just roping? Maybe he's hoping I disconnect. Maybe, yeah. I, I'm not surprised. Hunter, not good, not good. This is what my conclusion is. Look, I got 10 money. I'm so rich. I'm so rich. And I got a pack. Oh, and I've almost completed this terrible quest. Seems good, seems good. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there for today's video. This has been kind of a learning experience for me. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like uh, and let me know what you thought in the comments below of the Tavern Brawl. If you have any suggestions also for good decks to kind of get started in Hearthstone, uh, I would totally appreciate it. Uh, but we'll probably play a bit more of this to come. Maybe I'll do another video on the Tavern Brawl just because I think it's quite interesting and it's a kind of interesting way to get a flavor for the classes while still having a kind of crazy time in a competitive, well, not really a competitive deck. I guess it's, it's all down to chance, isn't it? Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments below. We'll open this pack that I earned. So let's see what's in our, our lovely pack. We may as well end on a pack opening, why not? Which one is blue? This one, okay. Nothing exciting. Rare! And these are cards. I don't know if these cards are good, but we got some cards, so that's good. Starting to build a collection. We can actually afford to buy a pack. Let's, put a, let's, let's get more packs. Let's get one of the new packs. It's like Wildwood. Witchwood even. I don't even... There we go. We're gonna we're gonna get, I guarantee, a legendary in this pack. Watch. Ready? Here it comes. Here it comes. That's not legendary. Eh. Not so hot. Not so hot. There we go. Oh, Mad Hatter. This is such a fun card. But it, the thing is, it's only good if your board is, if their board is clear, because then your units get boosted. But it's an interesting card. You could probably build a deck like utilizing that kind of strategy we'll see anyway like i say if you enjoyed the video maybe leave a like you can always subscribe to the channel you can find me on twitter at jagaris and on twitch twitch.tv forward slash jagaris not sure what i'm going to be streaming from now on with gwent kind of being quiet for the next six months but we'll see have a great day thank you so much for watching and hopefully i will catch you in the next video